Aren't you the gal that helped wipe out Nelson? Holy shit, that's fucking crazy. Missing medical supplies? No, uh, I don't know anything about that. What? Oh shit, how the fuck? Oh man, I'm in some deep shit now. Look, I can explain everything. Really, just give me a chance to explain. Have you looked around? Have you seen what's going on here? What we're going through? This place is hell. I've seen all my friends butchered by the Legion in front of my very eyes. I can still hear their screams at night. All I wanted was a little escape, so I took some drugs to help me do that. Is that so bad? I... Uh, I never... I never thought about that. But look, I needed this. I needed to escape for just a little while. I needed this. So what happens now? What? You want me to turn myself in? Why the hell should I do that? I... I guess you're right. I'll do the right thing and turn myself in. I hear you defeated the Legion forces at Nelson. I'm impressed and thankful. It'll make my job around here much easier. I heard Private Stone turn himself in for stealing my medical supplies. You have my thanks. Things are better now that the Legion at Nelson have been defeated. Until we meet again.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Where do you think you're going? Christina hired you, huh? Well, if you're gonna go up there, there's a couple things you should know. Esteban's body's in the middle of those buildings up the hill there. Look carefully and you can see the fiends patrolling the rooftops. But they laid traps, too. There's mines all over. So for God's sakes, watch your feet. Get him back here. We'll get him home. At least we can do. Wish we could help more. Oh my God, are you okay? You've got to get to a medic. Doc Kemp can patch you up back at base. How could you sacrifice your body like that? You never even met him. If the NCR doesn't have a medal for this, they should make one up. That must be some kind of code of honor you hold yourself to. You're like a woman possessed. We'll make sure Ranger Morales' body gets sent back home. You don't have to, you know, pick him up on your shoulder and haul him to California. Even though I believe you would if you had to. You should go tell Private Morales the news. I know she'll be relieved. Hell of a thing you did up there. Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. Thank you so much. Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste, but he's still gone. You know? Evening. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back, because I looked it up and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait, you're not. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. You look just like, never mind, sorry. So what can I serve you up? No shit. The stuff actually does all that, huh? I'll have to start testing this out immediately. This will really help keep the guys focused. That's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? With House dead, we'll have Vegas annex for years out. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Take your pick.
Thanks. Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. Great, let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. The gun runners are almost straight north of here, a little east. Isaac has a house in their compound. And then the not that scare you. Can I help you? Shit, is he serious? A 25% increase in weapons is doable, but a 50% increase in ammunition is nuts. Just don't have the supplies on hand to meet that kind of demand for new weapons. You're right. I suppose we could refurbish used and damaged weapons to fill the order. They'll be in like new condition, and then we can use our loader to make fresh ammo from spent brass. We'll have to wait a few days for gunpowder, but this might just work out. 
Tell Contreras the extra guns and ammo will be in the next shipment. For around five years now, I handled the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Later. So you're back. Very professional. I like that. Maybe you can handle something bigger. You're right. I'm just an under-the-table arms dealer. What could I possibly offer you? A drifting mercenary. Sorry for wasting your time. Great. The Crimson Caravan has something ready for me. Look for Blake and let him know you're picking up Contreras' medical supplies. Thanks. Don't come back until you have it. Crimson Caravan is just northeast of the Gunrunners. Blake's usually in the main office. Welcome back. Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time after which they get paid, after their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course. All right. Hey there, friend. The fiends. Caravans across the wastes are going to be buying you drinks for years. All right, then. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Here you go. Let him know he needs to make another payment if he wants more of this stuff. Well, painkillers are easy to come by, but it isn't easy finding iodine, allergy meds, and a few of these other items. Why do you ask? Really? Huh. Never thought of that. The Crimson Caravan isn't really in the drug business. See ya. So you're back. See, you're practically stealing caps from me. This work is so easy. There's one more job. It's a little more complicated, but I think you're up to it. I need to get some stuff sorted around. It's gonna take me a day or two, so just stop back in a few days. Well, I'm not. Come back tomorrow and the stuff will be ready to transport. Pawn shop in Westside called Miguel's. It's in outer Vegas, northwest of the Strip. Pawn shop in West Side called. Well, I'm not. All right, 
I need you to pass something off to a merchant. The guy's name is Price. The exchange goes down at Miguel's pawn shop in Westside. This next bit is very important. He's paranoid, maybe a little schizo. You have to identify yourself with a passcode or he'll shoot you right there. Just tell him you're looking for some betting advice. Then he'll say the surest move is to bet on the house. Be sure you do. If you get this last job done, full access to my stash. At a discount even, just because I like you. Get moving, watch out for raiders, and do not lose that package. Good luck. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Who cares if Caesar's dead? If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I'd buy just about anything. Of course, I've also got plenty of things for sale, too. Of course. Give me a shout if you need anything else. What do you want? We work together. I'm handling his deliveries for the moment while he handles a business opportunity that came up. What? Look, do you have something to drop off or not? Password? That little bastard said nothing about a password. Price is in NCR custody and you're going to join him. Unless you've got a damn good explanation for why you're looking for him. Hand over your weapons, you're under arrest. All right, if you hear anything, report it to myself or Lieutenant Boyd immediately. We need to track down his source. Ah, oh, shit. Well, please tell me you didn't hand him the package. Thank God. You're gonna need to take him out. If McCarran hears I've been selling contraband, we're both dead. That might just work. Tell him I'll cut him in on a bit of the profit and help him track down drug dealers if he'll give me a pass. The last thing I need is a do-gooder ranger trying to take me down. The NCR took back Nelk. What do you want? Really now? We had our suspicions about that man, but he's got so many shipments going so many different directions, it's been hard to track. What exactly is his offer? Does he realize bribing a ranger is a hanging offense? He has himself a deal. However, if he tries to run or he continues to deal strategic assets with enemies, he's a dead man. Tell Contreras to expect to see me around more often. He better have a new bit of information when I stop in or I'm reporting his ass to Boyd. What do you want? Goodbye. Maybe they can win this war after all. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? 
I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. Westside was a good place to settle down as any. Uh-huh. I hear the NCR and the Kings have been getting along. That's good news, Mr. I hear the Legion's fixing to attack Cooper Dam. I hear the NCR and the Kings have been getting along. Someone finally put down that sick motor run of son of a bitch. Howdy. Name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> it's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know the name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. Far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants. What came from the Boneyard. Wandered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Cut him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of it. Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted them out. I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed him. Don't know much more than that. He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come broken around. Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but you don't seem to mind. What else did you want to chat about? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the apocalypse, I think. Not so much lately. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel pity for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems, but when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Not much to tell. Typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy, but the profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't gotta rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on the east side. Works out nice. I run the liquor store on west side. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. After I close up shop, I walk around and help keep the peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's gotta do it, you know? All right, then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. So you're back. Good to hear. Pa so you're back. Pawn shop. 